Hey, it's Clay, CPAP My Way, CPAPMyWay.com. Today I'm here to discuss the new ResMed Card to Cloud program. That's a fancy marketing term for there will be no internal modems in uh, these new AirSense 10 devices <laughs> or AirCurve 10 for that matter. Um, in this video, we're going to go over why ResMed's having to, uh, to do this Card to Cloud program, what that's going to mean for you, uh, what that's going to mean for your data and uh, how you would actually see your data in this particular device. As always, if you like the information, hit us with a thumbs up. We really, really appreciate that. Subscribe if you want more info and comment with any questions or, uh, or add-ons to this. This video is gonna be as much for users as it will be for uh, other companies like us as we navigate the uh, continuing shortage of CPAPs. So let's start off with why. The reason why they are having to do this is because ResMed cannot get chips. The modems inside these machines that relay your data via the cell towers require very specific chips, which there is a massive shortage of. If you've been watching the news at all, you know that. Um, and so in an effort to try to help with the shortage of CPAPs due to the recall issue, they are now producing uh, Air 10 devices. So that's Air Sense 10, uh, like this auto set here, or the Air Curve 10 by levels. Um, as of right now, the only AirSense 10s we're getting are the card to cloud AirSense 10s. Uh, we are getting a mix of AirCurve 10s that are card to cloud as well as modem enabled. So there's a mix on that end. The AirSense 11s that we're getting have modems. So to define what it is, um, the card to cloud program means that it doesn't have that internal uh, cell modem inside that automatically relays your data back to your provider and uh, to your doctor potentially. Some of you may not even know that that's happening, but for a lot of these machines, they've got the built-in um, cell modem that relays automatically for you, which is a really nice feature. Your doctor can see your information, your provider can pull that information if you need compliance reports or things of that nature. Way back in time before cell modems, we all used what was called an SD card. <laughs> Many of you might actually be uh, familiar with that. There's still models that uh, require you to use SD card, but it's been a long time since that's been a deal for ResMed. Um, and it really isn't that big of a deal to do a download. It is a physical process, but it isn't that big of a deal. One real important note is that with these card to cloud um, CPAPs, you won't have the daily updates to my air. So if you're real big on using the app and looking at it every day, um, that information will not be relayed to your app anymore from these devices. However, there is a way to see it on the device very simply. So I'll, I'll show you that as well here in just a minute. Another big point on this is that it should only be temporary from ResMed until they can get chips. So we anticipate that this is hopefully only for a matter of months um, up until supplies of chips kind of level out. So what does that mean for you overall? It means that you're going to have to, if you get one of these devices, you're going to have to get manual downloads if you require a download at all. For a lot of users, uh, this may be a second unit or an upgraded unit from a previous model. If you know you're doing fine on CPAP and you don't look at a report every day and follow up with a doctor and have to do compliance reports, this may absolutely be no issue at all. This is the same unit as it is with and without the modem, which means that it's gonna work great. There really aren't any issues therapy-wise to be concerned about at all. The only concern you might have is that connectivity. If you need to see your data, uh, state of the end here, I'm gonna go uh, real up close and personal here with the machine on on how to see your, um, your compliance data on the machine with a click of a button and then how to enable it if you're not able to see it. But if you need to get a download or you need to uh, get compliance reports, the only thing you have to do is come into the side of your ResMed here, right? It's on the, uh, the left side of your machine when you're looking at it. Open up that SD card flap, push the little release, and you've got your SD card. In the bag with your new ResMed 10 device is gonna be a little envelope with a little protective sleeve. We recommend you put it in there. It's just got a little slot for it, so it just keeps it safe from uh, getting beat up in the mail. And then you're gonna grab one of these antique things we call an envelope. Just put your card in the envelope, seal it up, get you one of those uh, stamps. They sell those at a post office. Throw it on there and uh, send it back to us here or to who your provider is. They'll be able to download it, get you that report, and then mail the card right back to you. You know, you're talking a matter of days. Now, while it's not instantaneous, it's not all that big of a deal either. You're gonna be able to see the compliance information on the machine, so you'll know where you stand. 
but actually getting that physical report for uh, maybe a DOT follow-up or for uh, a follow-up with your doctor, you're going to need the SD card. If you're following up with your doctor, more than likely they understand how to do manual downloads. Um, and that's as simple as just taking this card with you to the doctor. So put it in a little protective envelope. I always recommend writing your name in here and maybe even on the card. Um, take it to the doctor. They'll do a quick download. They'll have the report there as well. So I don't think it's all that big of a deal. Uh, we're actually we're actually extremely thankful that ResMed is making more machines. Um, the shortage has been a real strain on our business here, I'll be honest, and I know it's been a strain on a lot of you guys out there that are trying to get a new machine. So uh, for them to be producing units at all that we can use, we're happy. Um, no complaints here whatsoever. Thank you, ResMed. So let's jump in on how to see the data on your machine so that you don't have to worry about the app and then how to enable that data if you're not seeing it. On the home screen of your AirSense uh, 10 device here, you've got My Options and Sleep Report. To toggle between them, just twist the dial. If you twist it down and click on Sleep Report, you're gonna see usage hours, mask, seal, humidifier, right? That's what most people see. That is not what you wanna see. You're used to seeing AHI, leak, and all those details. So to enable that particular, option. I'm going to show you how to get into the provider menu. Keep in mind that if you're not tech savvy, take this back to your provider and have them enable this for you because you don't want to mess up settings while you're in here. But we're going to be careful and show you real quick how to do that. Press and hold these two buttons here. Home button at the bottom, toggle button to the right, and you'll see an extra little deal pop up. It says exit clinical menu. That, that means you know you're in that provider menu. Now when you click on settings, you're going to see all of your settings. Stay away from all of the therapy settings. No sense to mess with any of that. We're going to scroll all the way down to options and you're going to see essentials on. What we want to do is turn that to plus. So now it'll say essentials plus. At this point, we can scroll all the way back to the top and hit home or you can just hit the home button until you get back there and then exit clinical menu so that you don't mess anything else up. Now, when you scroll down to your sleep report, you're going to see usage hours, events per hour, that's your AHI how your mask seal was, humidifier, more info. Obviously, we've, um, we haven't we have used this machine, so you're not gonna see all the uh, extra uh, date options on there, but it's gonna show you all of that real useful detailed information, right even down to central apnea index. So that kind of sums up the Card to Cloud program. Um, it basically boils down to just manual downloads. It's not that big of a deal. All your information's on your uh, machine so you can see it daily. If you need the actual report, you're, you're going to have to get that card to your provider or to your um, to your doctor to get the download, which really also isn't all that big of a deal. You can mail it back and forth in a matter of days. So um, as always, we really appreciate the thumbs up. If you like the information, comment below with any questions or things you need clarification on. We do our best to respond to all of that. And thanks again for watching.